Hello and welcome back to the Rough Mix Podcast. It is your host, Esteban Trunks. And to my right, we have Vic. Actually, it's my left. We have Vic. And we got below him is Eli. And then to the left or right of him is Jordan. For those of you who are watching on YouTube. For those of, for those of you who are watching on iTunes or Spotify. If you're on Spotify, add us to your playlist. If you're on iTunes, rate us five stars. Now, today's episode is going to be How to Network Part 2. You might be wondering, Part 2? Wait, where's Part 1? It is actually our one of our first five episodes to so go ahead, or episode six. It is episode six, go. So I would assume that you're watching this on your phone or your laptop. So go ahead and watch part one first, then come back to part two and watch this because I guarantee you, you will learn something new. Just kidding. There's no guarantees, but you might learn something new. But basically, the last time we did that episode was maybe seven months ago, eight months ago. I guarantee it. I, okay, he guarantees it. But it was, it's like eight months ago. And I want to say first, uh, we've learned a lot. That's all I'm gonna say. And I hope that from um all of our our hopes and dreams of of uh trying to get sell beats online and stuff like that, especially now during this time, uh, it's really easy to to everybody's at home, everybody's watching, everybody's on their phone, you know. So it's this is a time right now. This is a very that was a very good picture, uh, Eli. If you're watching this on YouTube, that's that was very good. Um, but. I think I'll give a first a few tips of like the, I guess the best way to to okay so first I think you got to market yourself as what are you are you a producer are you an engineer are you a rapper right who do you who are you looking to get at are you looking to get at uh looking to connect with producers are you a rapper that wants to be uh engineered by someone maybe you make beats and you produce or maybe you make beats and uh rap right but you're like oh I need someone to engineer me you know like there's the there's all you gotta find who you need. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta find. Are you a rapper, engineer, producer? Basically that. And then who you are looking for? A producer, rapper, engineer. And then, <clears throat> or maybe like artwork. Anything that has to do with music. There's a way, or anything really. But there's there's a way to to reach out. So I think the first thing is obviously first thing, get a social media, not just one. Get Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, and. TikTok. I think honestly, TikTok's I, I think it's the number one thing to do right now because you could blow up on that like instantly. Everybody's on that right now. It's a new wave. TikTok is the wave. Um, honestly, the the first thing I could do, I could think of, if you're a producer and you want to get someone to rap on your beats, I would say hit up SoundCloud and Instagram. SoundCloud, I will look up. Um, let's say you have a, mm, maybe let's say like Jordan. Let's say you have a little be- a little peep type beat, right? Uh, he he makes a lot of like melodic, you know, uh, type beats like just like Lil Peep. I'm not gonna say just like that because you can't emulate him, you know. Um, but Jordan makes a lot of like melodic trap beats for like Lil Peep. So I would suggest going to SoundCloud, watching Lil Peep stuff, and then there should be like a Lil Peep radio, I think, right, or Lil Peep something like that. There's like something really related artist. So I would just go through there and just see anybody who's related to Lil Peep. And, and like, I guess if you like them, hit them up, like, the, like their stuff, DM them and tell them like, Hey, like I'm a, I'm like, I'm a fan of your work. If you really like them, you know, like if you're, if you're trying to actually work with someone, not just make a sale, not just trying to make a beat sale. If you really want people to rap on your beats, uh, be honest with them. Don't just lie to them and say like, yo, your beats are fire. Your, your music is fire. You rap, your flow is fire, bro. Like DM me, let's work. I got beats for you. Like if you actually genuinely want to work with someone, I would say, Support them. Tell them that you actually like support them and their uh, their music's good. And then go ahead and and offer, like, I think you're gonna have to give away beats for free. Like, if you really want to work with someone, you're gonna have to give away beats for free. That's that's the only way. In the beginning, at least, at least in the very beginning, um, giving away beats for free is probably necessary. I would say, but hitting people up on SoundCloud, like DMing anybody who's related on SoundCloud, I'd go ahead and do that. Another thing. That I learned up, that I researched recently, and I've been doing recently, and it works for me because I actually have gotten one sale in the past three days, uh, hitting up a bunch of people on Instagram. So on Instagram, you can search up hashtags, and a lot of up and coming rappers will put hashtag unsigned rapper, hashtag unsigned artist, hashtag new rapper, hashtag unsigned new rapper, hashtag rap. You know, like they'll put all these hashtags. So look all those up, and there'll be a bunch of artists on there. And if you like any of their music, and you want to hit them up, 
like, like you, all you got to do is message them. That's all you have to do. And that's what I've been doing to like a ton of people. And I, I actually sold one beat. So, and I'm going to be working with a few other people. So like, not everybody's going to respond to you. Don't think everybody's going to respond to you because they won't. And Vic will let you know because he's been doing it longer than me. And he's got a ton of people who, you know, won't respond or they'll respond with just like a fake response or something. But I think that's, I think SoundCloud and searching up hashtags on Instagram is a really good way. And the last thing I'll say is honestly, TikTok is if you make beats, post, post you making beats on TikTok. And I, and like, I just know like you'll get, I won't, I mean, I'm not like popular on TikTok, but I get a few hundred views on my videos from just posting me making a beat or like the finished product. I don't even, if I, if you post the whole thing, like you post a 15 second of you making melody, 15 seconds of you making the drums and you put them together and you never know, like people like that stuff. They just like seeing it come together. So you might blow up on TikTok and then you could promote your Instagram and YouTube on, on your profile. So I would, I would say those three things could help you uh, help network yourself and grow and promote yourself also. But next I'm going to go ahead and talk to uh, Jordan because Jordan and I have been doing kind of the same thing, but he's actually been doing, he's been doing more of the SoundCloud stuff too. So I'm going to tell, I'm going to let Jordan go ahead and speak on how he thinks the best way to network nowadays is. Go ahead, Jordan. Yo, it's bad. It's bad. You cut out like everything you said right there after you said Jordan's name. All right. Well, it's okay. Jordan. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess as far as like networking, what I'm doing right now is very similar to, to what he's doing. Um, right now, uh, I'm focusing on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, trying to, trying to do TikTok. TikTok's kind of weird though, because like you have to be following each other just to like be able to DM. So I can't like send to a bunch of people. Like I got to wait for people to follow me back and it's got to be like, you know, artists for me to actually make it worthy of sending a dm wait so you, tiktoks you gotta like so people have to be following you gotta you have to be following each other to send a message mm-hmm. damn i didn't even know yeah so because i was good i was gonna try that route but right now i'm just working on getting uh like a bunch of followers on tiktok so i can like filter through and message the ones uh that are actually artists um so yeah tiktok is kind of like up and coming working on that um twitter as well i'm trying to go crazy on and instagram too but um but yeah there's a there's a cap on all those sites as far as like sending messages so just like sending out as many as i can a day doing the unsigned artist tags doing the upcoming artist tags stuff like that just kind of get creative with it see see what people are really posting about you'll be surprised um but yeah uh, as far as like let me see right here real quick I had this thing up for whatever reason and now it's gone. Um, but yeah, uh, as far as like keeping it consistent, um, I do use SoundCloud, but I, I haven't really tried DMing people on SoundCloud really. Like what I do is I, uh, is like, I go on, um, like not really the radios. I should probably try that soon enough, but really I just like scour through SoundCloud for like 30 minutes, listen to as many songs as I can from as many different people as I can and see like if I like anyone that's that's where the beats for free kind of come about is like if I find anyone I actually want to work with like I, I, I'll give them free beats like not a problem but as far as like DMing people trying to sell beats like I'm doing that at the same time because like you know I'm trying to get sales on my beat store and that's different from like trying to work with someone so yeah SoundCloud going on Spotify, iTunes or whatever, just trying to find upcoming artists that you like and then reaching out to them to actually like, you know, provide value for them. That's, that's something too, like, you know, that ties into treating this like a business, like as far as like reaching out and talking to people, like kind of establish it very professionally, you know, and treat it like a business. So if you were just hitting someone up and like someone hits you up kind of like weird or something, like you just being a regular person, you're like, okay, I'm like not going to even respond to that. Well, on this, it's like have your customer service skills up, you know, even if they're being like kind of annoying or like, you know, you know, they kind of don't mean to be. That's just how they are because they're like really uneducated about how to like move in this business, like treat it very professionally and like avoid burning bridges at all. Like, I don't care how annoying they're being. Like, 
if, if they're like over the top, all you have to do is just like not respond, you know, and if they're spamming you, you can block them, but like always handle things professionally. Um, so yeah, definitely be treating this like a business when you're talking to people. Um, and yeah, just keeping it consistent through, uh, through platforms. Like right now I send, um, like I'm putting beats on SoundCloud that I can't exactly hear other people on, you know, there's probably plenty of artists that could jump on a beat that I'm thinking about, but I like none come directly to my head and they might be a little like er experimental. So I just put those on SoundCloud and try to like, you know, get a consistent base on that, putting consistent beats on YouTube, putting consistent beats on BeatStars and, you know, between those three and DMing people across all platforms and following people, you know, if you're doing this every single day, something should come from it. So that's probably the only advice I have on there because I still have a long ways to go um, as far as the networking goes. But I think we're all doing it kind of right. Yeah, I, I think the consistency is the biggest thing for sure because uh, if you only do this once a month, I guarantee you someone who does this every day is going to beat you. You know, you have to work harder than someone. There's like the thing about people who work 40 hours, you got to work 20, like, you know, working on the weekends, you know what I'm saying? Like people who work Monday through Friday, and you work Monday to Friday, you want to work Saturday and Sunday so you could then beat them. You know, you got to work hard. You always got to work harder than someone in order to win and, and to win out and to, to be on top. That's the only way to win is literally to work and to treat this. I have like, we have notes here on the side, but I, I wrote down like treat it as a job. And what I mean by treat it as a job is like, you have to literally sit there. And if you want this, this is only if you really want this to be like your career or your, your choice, you know? And I want to, I just want to also say is, all of us have like, none, all right, I don't want to like make fun of us or anything, but none of us have made like thousands of dollars on beats. You know, I'm not trying to like disown us or anything, but we've all, all of us have made money off of music, you know, but it's not hundreds of thousands of dollars or even a few thousand dollars, you know, but it, it, this is what I'm saying is like people like us who are real about it. And like, we're not going to lie and say, I make like two grand a month making beats and this is how you do it, you know? This is our way of how we have sold a few of our beats. You know, Vic has sold a few beats uh, in the past month. I've sold uh, a f maybe like four beats in the past four months or something. I'm not making tons of money at all. You know, and and the thing is, is like we kind of just started to really push this, push this. So if we did it from the beginning, I, I know we would all be making almost maybe a few thousand dollars a month, maybe if we did this like two years ago. But that's the thing I, I want to tell everybody else is. It's not always guaranteed, but start when you can and be consistent when you can, because I guarantee you in the long run, you'll regret it. Like, okay, I don't regret anything in life. Never mind. I'm not going to say that. But you can, you can make it further than you would if you just did it for a once, a once a month. Do it maybe four times a week or four times, you know, like, and especially right now during the whole the pandemic, I know everybody has at least two hours a day. Sit down on your phone, go on Instagram, look at the hashtags. Go on Twitter, DM people, go on uh, um, maybe YouTube, like suggested artists. You know, like there's so many things you can do to reach out to people. Like don't just hold back and just post it and sit back. I guarantee you, you won't grow as fast as someone who's posted and he's, and he's consistently like, he posted on YouTube, he'll post a beat on YouTube and then he'll go to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and he promotes it everywhere on every platform. I know he's going to do better than someone who just posted on YouTube. It's just like, cause you're getting it to more eyes. More people could see it on every platform. So it's better than just putting on YouTube and you just don't do anything ever again. So like you always got to stay consistent, post on YouTube, on BeatStars, on Airbit or anything like that. You know, that's, it just be consistent, treat it as a job. If you really want this to be what you want. And I actually want to give it off to my dog, Eli. Yo, yo, are you quoting, are you quoting Larry June right there? Why? What'd I say? Yo, gotta stay consistent. Oh, yo, yo, if you really, yo. <laughs> hey, hey, if you made it this far, stay consistent and hit the like button. That's all I'm saying. Hit, yo, for real though, hit the like button because uh, I actually want to try to get, all right, this is a challenge, ready? I want to get at least 10 likes on this YouTube video. At least 10. And I know I like it myself. So I'm <laughs> going to like it myself and I'm going to like it on my other account and on my other account because I got three accounts. So I'm going to like it on every single count. That's three. And then plus Jordan, plus Vic, plus Eli. That's already six. All I'm saying, at least four more people got to click the like button. That's all I'm saying. So if you're watching right now, click the like button right now and subscribe to us if you aren't subscribed. 
Because I know 80% of people who are watching aren't subscribed. I see the, I see the stats. I know all those people there that are not subscribed right now. I yeah, see we're, watching, we're watching the numbers. Yeah, I'm watching the numbers. Uh, but for real though, all right. So let's get hey, Eli. Uh, real quick, sorry. What episode is this going to be? This is 16. Episode 16. See? This is what I'm saying. Vic? Very <laughs> smart man. Very <laughs> smart man he is. I know what he's doing right now. He's promoting us on Instagram. You know what? That's another thing you got to do. When you're consistent enough, um, honestly, another thing I could I would say to promote yourself or to network, and it's all kind of the same thing, is go ahead, you know, invest in yourself. So promote, you know, if you want like 10 bucks on Instagram, like do an ad on like a beat you have. And you never know. You might have four people watch it that like it and they might want to either follow you or hit you up or buy the beat. And I think that's that's worth the investment, to, at least for me. You pay 10 bucks, you sell the four, you sell four leases. For like 15 bucks, that's 60 bucks. You just made profit. Or uh, 60 minus the 10, you made 50 bucks profit. And I think it's worth, I think it's worth every penny. I think it's worth it. But I'm going to go ahead and give it to Eli and talk about what, how he has networked with uh, people or how he thinks the best way to network is. Go ahead, Eli. Uh, what's up, y'all? So um, if you're watching on YouTube, like some of you are, um, I know some some people watch or listen to the podcast through the Podbean app or podcast app on the iPhone, whatever it is. Um, but my background here on YouTube, ooh, I probably say my mic. My background here on YouTube um, will show to me what connections really is. Um, and I just looked up networking on Google Images and found this picture. But it, it, it it's really simple, but it does make sense. Um, And we've talked about this before, but I'm going to talk about a project that we worked on a little while ago um, called Project 96, um, hosted by uh, More Than My Complexion, um, a group out of uh, the East Bay Bay Area. Um, Yeah, shout out Cola. Shout out Cola, shout out Eric, shout out... I'm not going to start shouting out people because I don't really know. Shout out Cola because he's, you know, he was the... Shout out everybody. Yeah, shout out out the the architect who brought us all in that one day into a... Uh, secret location, uh, undisclosed location, and told us about what was going to happen. But uh, nah, um, it really worked like that. One person came in, and they, you know, knew somebody else, and they told them to come in. And then you guys talk, and then you guys follow each other, and then. But what starts happening is when you guys work, um, you know, you're going to shout each other out. Or you're going to be saying like, "Oh, I work with this person." You know, listen to our song, and their followers are going to start following you. Or people who want to get work from you are going to start following you. People who want your beats, people who want to get engineered by you. That's how I started getting clients. Was I worked with one person? I worked with one person for a few months, and he told a few people, and those people hit me up, and people from those people hit me up, and then other people. So I've gotten clients now all from one person. Now, obviously, after that one person, the other people started giving me clients. But I'm saying it spawned from one person. And it really just is a web. It goes out to, uh, you know, it's the whole like pyramid scheme. Like it starts in the middle, goes to the next, and then it goes all the way out. Um, sorry, the chat's getting blown up right now with the some shots, but yo, um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, networking. Um, like they've been talking about heavy on the social medias, um, just because. I mean, like, why not? Like, people like to hit on it and say, oh, like, you know, like, it, you know, everything's done through this. Or like, uh, you know, like Instagram rappers, SoundCloud, the whole like SoundCloud rapper thing is thrown around like it's bad. But I mean, all these people listen to, you know, like, uh, you know, the Dirty South stuff, like coming out of all that. And, you know, like, shout outs, like all the old Raider clan, you know, all that, like, like, you know, Sesh, like the water, all that stuff. Like that was all SoundCloud. Chance the Rapper, who is huge now, was SoundCloud. Like all these people, like the first time I heard, uh, I'm trying to think, the first time I heard just like, like you know, not even like, and it's not even always SoundCloud rappers. Sometimes it's the big people you hear. I think the first time I heard Kodak was on SoundCloud. Like, I, you know, all these things. Um, it pays to just all platforms. Like you, you don't want to, you don't want to DM people, but, but you can see the results just from listening to us. Like, it's not like we're not DMing a thousand people a day or 10,000 people a day or, or all right, Vic might be, but I mean, like, uh, you know, the ratio might, the ratio might be bigger, the more people you get, but I think there's probably a limit also too to how many messages you can send on certain apps. Um, but no, you know, talk to people. Um, I think personally, because I like to discover people, um, that are really up and coming. I think it's really important to find people in your area too. Um, you know, it's great to work with people. Um, 
it's great because we have the internet and the chance to work with people. Like one of my first artists, I wouldn't even say my, I'm not going to say my artist. One of the, one of the first artists I work with um, was from Tennessee. We've never talked on the phone. We've never, I, I know him from Twitter, but he is from Tennessee and we never worked except for one or two songs. But, uh, oh, yo, yo, I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted right now. Um, but what I was going to say is all these things are possible just through small connections and, um, just hitting people up like we've been saying, uh, but make sure to, um, make sure to just talk with the people you work with and find out, you know, who they know, what artists they're working with, uh, where, what type of stuff they're into. Because if you go in all the time and you treat it like you're just going to get money out of them, then, you know, you will, you might. But I don't think you're gonna, you know, think about it. Don't don't think about getting one artist for a hundred dollars. Think about getting, you know, one artist plus five of their friends or ten of their friends to come work with you. And then it, don't think about it like I was saying. Don't think about it as money. You will get more money out of it, but you're also going to get more work. You're going to get more experience. You're going to get their connections, which is just going to even, you know, that's how it's, it's just layers. It's just layers. It, that's all it is. You get one connection, it turns into five. The five turns into ten. Ten turns into twenty. Do the math. Do the math, people. Run it up. Numbers. 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 All right. This I think it's Vic's turn real quick. Go ahead, Vic. All right. So a lot of stuff I'm gonna say too. I think we're gonna have another episode to talk more about it. Cause like it's, there's a lot of shit, but like I'll just run it down a little not not as not in depth not as in depth. So like of course, like the DMing people for like like for producers, like if you're DMing people, like this is what I do. This is what I do. So the first thing I suggest you do is put your beats on a platform so it's easy for people to access because then it's then it makes things much easier. So then you don't have to send them a link to like that platform. Then they can look at themselves. But what I do is I make a beat and like if I hear somebody on that beat, I go to that artist and I go to who this artist is following or who is following this artist because then you know those people are are into that same genre. So then you send them the shit. You send them the beat that fits that genre. And like, you know, it might not work for everyone, but like the people you like and like, you know, even if someone only has a hundred followers, it doesn't mean that like, they're not good. You have to like, listen, like I just found someone on Instagram who like literally has like 600 followers and he makes bangers, like, like full on slap, like better than a lot of people that I've ever seen on Instagram. So like, don't follow that. Cause I fall into that trap a lot. Like I, I pay attention to like the followers and shit like that. But like, that really doesn't mean that much. So yeah, DM a lot of people and like every, uh, what I suggest you do is every day reach the limit of DMs you can do. It takes fucking like 10 minutes. Like it doesn't take that long. We do that every day and just think of it like this. Two out of the thousand people are going to at least for sure connect with you. Now that seems like hella people, but I mean, if you do every single day, it just, it adds up. Like it really does. Um, and then like, promote stuff like always promote people and then this is for everyone if you work with someone tag that fucking person because a lot of people don't tag people and maybe it's because you're being selfish or maybe it's because you forgot i think that's bullshit but if you tag the other person it just is double promotion just because you're not the only name on the project doesn't mean you're not going to get credit for something the more people involved the more you tag the more it gets spread the more you're going to get noticed and everyone gets noticed Everybody wins. So like tag people, involve, be involved in a lot of social medias. TikTok is big right now. Like I started doing a TikTok. My little sister's hella into TikTok. And like I, I I hate it. But for making beats and stuff like that, like it's pretty useful. And like people fuck with it. Like people fuck with my beats on there. Like I got more followers in like a day than I have had on like Twitter. So like TikTok's going up. And then um the next thing I want to say is like Instagram is like huge. Like, okay. And speaking about Instagram networking, I'm going to just give a shout out to my dog. Holy shit. Fat Cheetah. You're the first dude on Instagram to fucking hit us up. So shout out Fat Cheetah. We're back on it. And that alone is networking. I never even know this dude. He doesn't even know me. But now because of this podcast, we know each other. And he's told people. And now I've just told all of you guys about him. And that's just an example of how shit gets going. So, um, and then I want to say like the whole Project 96 thing that we did, that opened so many doors. I'm not going to go into depth, 
but I'm just going to give a few personal things that happened for me. When I first went to school, I learned about this studio called The Grill. Biggest studio in the Bay. All right. I had no idea how to get anything in there. I made some homies at school. These are four of them. And then there's two other ones. You guys made in the two episodes and one more. There's three more. Um, shout out Miles. Shout out Jimmy. Shout out Andy. Anyways, through knowing them, they got an internship at The Grill. They hooked us up and made a connection for us to get the owner's number. And through that connection, me and Esmo got an internship at The Grill. Like, that's just one thing. I started listening to some, some music. I'm not going to name drop any artists. I started listening to it. I saw a flyer posted at my school. Next thing you know, I'm in the fucking studio with this artist that I used to listen to. That's all through the fucking school. Just from networking, just from reading flyers and paying attention to little things and like going through with it. Like it worked. Like that shit works. That shit happens. Through this Project 96 thing, I've met some people and it's open doors. Shout out, Eric. That's my dog. I met him and then Eric opened up some doors for me and he introduced me to his friends like the homie Jin, whose session is behind me. Like all that is through Project 96, but that alone has opened more doors. Like that's just, that's just a start. From this episode, the people we have met from our first episode, there is a fat list and that is not even a long time. So that's a start. Five years down the road for anybody in their career, you know, that's just, that's just how things work. So I'm going to just cut it there so we don't go too in depth with all that stuff. Yeah, I think we're gonna definitely going to talk about Project 96. Uh, we're going to have an interview with Cola probably if he lets us. We'll probably have to pay him like $400 an hour to get his attention or something. But it's all right. Cola, yeah, I'll still catch you on the court. You're trash. Um, I'll definitely cross you. <laughs> don't, don't even... The, honestly, never mind. I'm not going to say it. Cola's actually trash. I'll beat him any day. Uh, <laughs> on, any, on anything. Any sport, any game, he's actually going to get fucked up. That's all, that's all I'm saying. But anyways... Wow, okay. <laughs> Janara, where are you at? I won. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. I won. Yeah, I won, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Shout out Luis. Shout out D. You guys are my real team right there. I'm saying Luis and D, shout out. They lost too, but it's all right. I, I won the only game that mattered. That's all that matters. We're, we're talking about basketball, if anybody didn't know. Don't worry, I actually suck. I suck at basketball. Don't think I'm serious. Um, but I think everything that you, yeah, we've been ta- talking about is consistency. Literally, shout out Larry June, my dog. Larry June, look him up. He's got slaps. That's all I'm saying. All, he, all I want to say is once we started listening to Larry June every morning when we woke up, you just, it, it just, it gets things you. been different. It just gets you in the mood. It just gets you in the mood to hustle. Yo. You, hey, hey if, if you, would, you wouldn't like his music if you're not a hustler. So if you're not a hustler, don't listen to Larry June because you're not about to get that bag. That's all I want to say. That's good. Yeah, that's true. That's sick as fuck. Yo, when, when, yo, I'm not even lying. When, we, when uh, Eli put me on, Eli, I'm going to say Eli and Vic because they both put me on Larry June. But when Eli and, and Vic put me on to Larry June, we literally put the same, I put Tracy California every morning before we got, before we went to school and my mood changed. I was like, yep, I'm ready for the day. I'm ready to make some money, even though I was going to school, so I wasn't making any money. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But what I was trying to say is like... Oh, wait, I just want to say one thing. Just one thing. I'm not going to throw any names out there. I'm not going to throw any names. But ha- yeah, just Larry June thing. This Larry June thing. We all started fucking with Larry June, and we noticed that someone at our school makes fucking beats for Larry June. I mean, if that's not like that, I mean, that's an easy way to start networking like stuff like that happens in life you got to pay attention because shit like that happens all the time you just got to pay attention to the details that was a good one but i uh that's okay so i don't want people to think that they have to go to school to like network you know like you can network with anybody it doesn't have to, you don't have to go to school to network but it just happened to be in our scenario or situation that you know like that we went to the only real like audio school in the bay that or I, I guess real big one I guess I don't know there's probably a few of those I don't I'm not sure about but I met you through Chipotle exactly me and Jordan met through Chipotle all right this guy had a this guy had oh my god he had a, a hard drive on a necklace and I was like there's no way <laughs> there's no way I'm not gonna talk to this guy about uh, how he makes beats not connect with him yo and, and the person who connected Jordan Esteban with Jordan I played football with him in fucking high school. And he ends up working with these dudes in a whole other city 
like one day I'm like on Instagram, I'm like, what the fuck? That's my, I know that dude. I went to high school. They're like, oh yeah, that's my coworker. I'm like they're homies. Like we're homies. Like we all hang out now. That insane. That is insane. Like there's so much shit. It's crazy. Exactly. Like if you're in high school and you, maybe you make beats and like, you never know. Someone at your school might make beats. They might rap. They might have a cousin or an uncle that raps or that makes beats. So if you can try to reach out to them and like, you never know, like you never know what could happen if you don't talk to someone. Yo, real quick. I just want to say, uh, just cause this is, I know, I know we're all doing this jumping back in, but, uh, it, it's just proving, I think, I think this is just proving our point, uh, over and over. Um, that was one of my first connections. Like I was just making beats, like the worst beats you could possibly make. Just like, I didn't know how to use the pattern. I didn't know how to like any of that stuff. And another kid in my school was like, you know, he wanted to be a rapper or he battle rapped. He battle rap kids all the time. Like, you know, freestyle, like, like getting into that stuff. Cause I was always big at high school. And, uh, you know, we just talked about like, I don't know, like the Illmatic, I think that was like one of my, our first conversations, like, Oh, Nas is sick. Like the Illmatic is sick. And, and we were both like, yeah. And from right there, it was just like, you want to make music together? And like, yeah. So then we would go to my house, we would make beats. They were terrible. We, I don't think I ever made a beat until right now. This is the, this is the thing. And this is another thing I wanted to get to. I met him my junior or sophomore year of high school. I have now graduated college and we, are we, ta- are we talking about who I think we're talking, are you talking about who I think you're talking about? We talk about it after. Just go ahead, Eli. Yeah. My, well, my boy, my, my boy. Yeah. Right now, like in the last month is the first time that he, that me and him have collaborated and start to make beats and songs together to where the point where we actually feel like it's cohesive and like stuff is starting to sound like what we wanted to sound like in the beginning. That's like over five, six, seven years. This is not going to happen overnight. Your connections are not going to happen overnight. You might have a connection and you don't already know it. All these things are possible. People you grew up with, the connections are always going to be family friends. That's going to start with it. You know what I mean? Or people who you know, or people who you went to high school with. Don't go looking. Don't go like, oh, I'm going to find like, I'm going to go, you know, you might have a J. Cole story. You might go knock on Jay-Z's door and you might get signed to Rock Nation. Go ahead. That might happen. That's, but, but that's like wait, the- wait. That's- that's J. Cole's story. Yo, never mind. That's for another episode, dog. I had no that's right. sick. So, to wrap this up. Yeah, regardless, yeah. you always got connections. Find them and um, work on them. If you really trust them, if you really think it's going to work, if you think it's going to pay off in the end, or if you want it to pay off in the end, just work. It's not going to happen overnight, like we've said all the time. Connections, the the your sound, making it what you where the level you want to be at right now. You know what I'm saying? All that stuff's not going to happen. Work all the time. Put it in promote, do everything, connections, all that. I'm going to let Trunks finish. Put work, put in the time, grind, consistency, and all those are literally the factors you need. Like, And I guarantee you in a few years, if not, if it doesn't happen overnight or a month or two, in a few years, if you keep doing it, you will grow. I guarantee you. Look at our, all of our stories. You'll see, you've all seen, heard it from all our previous episodes, how we all started and how we all are now and how much growth we've, we've gone through. So. That's how I want to end it. Um, if you've made it this far, go ahead and like the video, please. And also subscribe if you haven't. So that has been it for the Rough Mix episode 16. Um, also, all our links will be in the bio. If you want to follow any of us, if you want to have any questions, check, uh, throw them in the comments below. Okay. And hit us up on Instagram. Yo, every time you guys hit us up since the start, we will shout you out. There you I go. Will you out. I will personally uh, shout We will you. shout out five people who DM us. You'll be, you'll be shouted out in the beginning or the end or the middle or you let us know and we'll make it happen. So this has been it for the Rough Mix podcast, episode 16. I hope everybody enjoys and we'll be back with another video soon.